Hurting hips, creaking knees, aching ankles, we all feel pain in our joints from time to time. But imagine hip pain so severe it would take a week to recover from a pickup basketball game. That is exactly what Mickey Martin's life was like until he got help from orthopedic surgeon Dr. James Burnett at Baylor Orthopedic and Spine Hospital in Arlington. And they are both here with us today. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Mar uh, Mickey, let's start with you. Uh, yes. Give us an idea, more of an idea of the problems you were having before you were finally pushed to go have your hip replaced by Dr. Burnett. What was going on? Oh, actually, it started probably about 10 years before I met Dr. Burnett. 2004 or so, I was diagnosed by my primary care physician with the early onset of um, debilitating arthritis in my hips. Hmm. Playing basketball, I was very active doing most things. You know, We went through the medication process, and it just eventually got to the point where you know, Dr. Burnett's statement came true, I would know when it's time. And uh, in 2015, late 2015, we decided to do the surgery. So what was going through your mind at the time? Because most people, when you say hip replacement surgery, knee replacement surgery, they're like, ah, oh, I want to postpone that <laughs> as long as possible. Well, it took me 11 years to get to that point. I probably could have had it a lot earlier, but uh, he did everything and we worked through every possible way of uh, avoiding the surgery. I had a great deal of anxiety. I played sports all my life and never really had a major injury. So. And you played sports all your life because you're very young. <laughs> uh, well, just turned 50. Yeah. Yes. And so this is this is not something that just is for 70 or 80 year old people by any means. If you're active, this Correct. is an important thing. So how long was your recovery? Recovery was probably about four months. I mean, total from the time that I had the surgery to the time that he actually released me from aftercare. I was probably still going to a little bit of physical therapy, but uh, for the most part, about four months total. Okay, so here's what people want to know. What's your life like now? Great deal better. <laughs> I was telling a young lady earlier that when I, after our first visit, I got off the table to shake his hand and I actually gave him a hug. <laughs> it was just, it had changed my life just that much within that time not to be in pain, but I no longer have to park close to the store to go in. I can park out, out far again and be able to walk. I'm um, back to working out in the gym and just getting back to my normal life. Okay, well doctor, that has to be very rewarding to yeah, be able absolutely. to do something absolutely. like that for people. I mean, he says it changed his life yeah, and he hugs feels are so, great. Hugs, <laughs> are, hugs are a good thing, okay. So why was Mickey a great candidate for total hip replacement? Well, um, first, you know, it, it's, uh, it makes the recovery a lot easier if you're in good health, a state of health, which he is. Um, he really tried pretty much everything um, conservatively short of the hip replacement itself. And the, the, the arthritic process that he had was a degenerative process itself, meaning that it's only going to continue to deteriorate over time. And once somebody gets to that point where they've consciously made that decision that, you know, um, this is what I want to do, and kind of cast aside that last little bit of doubt, that's the time that, uh, that they really do well, and it is time to have the hip replacement. And consider all those things before mm -hmm. you do that. Okay, Absolutely. so for viewers who may have been dealing with long-term pain, like mm -hmm. Mickey did, uh, what steps should they take, independent mm -hmm. of coming and see, what steps should they take to determine what treatment or surgery mm -hmm. is the right thing to do? Well, I mean, the first steps, uh, the simplest, you know, um, as we naturally age, you know, Nature tells us that our bodies can't do what they want used to. So, you know, common sense, lifestyle uh, modifications, activity modification, trying different forms of activities or exercise that might be easier on the joints. Um, you know, there's some of the over-counter medications, you know, arthritis medicines try. And if that doesn't keep people to where they need to be, then the next step is, you know, consult your physician. It could be a primary care doctor or such like that to, you know, obtain appropriate studies to make that diagnosis. And then after that, then there's some other prescription medications to try there's you know injections uh, into the joint itself that can kind of help that process you know uh, physical therapy can play a role too to help strengthen the muscles around the joint help stabilize the joint and when all those things unfortunately uh, don't get the people where they need to be from an activity level or a comfort level for their lifestyle then you know there are joint replacements that can actually rectify or fix the problem so for either one of you what would you say to people watching who are in pain uh, that would encourage them to see a doctor and even maybe consider surgery? Well, I would tell them not to wait as long as I did. I was very much in denial at such a young age of being diagnosed, but um, there are options out there that will very much assist your level of comfort. And if you reach the point of having to have the surgery, 
then consult with your physician and go forward. Okay, and doctor, real quickly, what sets, there are a lot of places to do this, what sets uh, Baylor Orthopedic and Spine Hospital in Arlington apart yeah. from other hospitals? Well, um, the uh, Orthopedic and Spine Hospital in uh, Arlington is, uh, is a specialty hospital, meaning that we only focus on orthopedic and spine care. So from the minute you enter the door to, to, to when you leave, um, where uh, the facility is focused on providing the best orthopedic focused care possible. So, you know, the administrative staff, the OR staff, the nursing staff, the physical therapy staff, everybody is there with one purpose, provide the best orthopedic care possible. And to their, to, to that end, they've been uh, awarded multiple um, awards and been deemed um, our um, Centers of Excellence for okay. Hip and Joint Replacement. Well, that's a good thing. You can call 855-41-ORTHO for more information about Baylor Orthopedic and Spine Hospital at Arlington or log on to BaylorArlington.com.